Okay, in this video, we this is my third video, and in this video, what I've done is, in the last video, I've just set up some data. Uh, I just entered in some data. I entered in a name, I entered in a type, and an age of a group of pets. So, essentially, what I have here is a couple of cats, a couple of dogs, but for the sake of variety, what I've done is entered a couple of other things, like hamsters, hens, and ponies okay so we have Oscar the dog and Lulu the dog and Jessica and Irene two cats and a hamster called Chloe okay anyway so what we're gonna do now is actually see if we can uh, represent this data um, uh, graphically at uh, this ca this uh, categorical data so essentially like what one would do here is check out the graphical procedures that are available to you in SPSS. So essentially what we're going to do here is we are going to go up to the graph menu on SPSS. It's right up at the top there. It's just beside stat and see what options we have there for us. So I'm just going to, sorry, just my sound card is a bit wonky. Yeah, I'm just going to pause this for a second. There we go, just unpause that now. So I just fixed my little problem there. So what I've done here is I want to sort of see if I can graph this data. So I'm gonna sort of concentrate first, firstly on this categorical data here. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to graph. Now I got quite a lot of information up here. Uh, scatter plots, histograms, dot plots, box plots, bar charts, so on. There's so many of these plots here. Now, this, what would be required here of you really is actually just to sort of get a, get the handle on what a lot of these plots do. I'll just pick out the main ones for you though. Scatter plot, whoops, that's, uh, if you actually click in it, it actually sort of, um, you can actually sort of get a sense of what it would look like. This is a scatter plot, it's just like, uh, it seems to be measurements in two variables. That's not what we want, two numeric variables, so that's not what we want, but it's actually just a useful idea just to click in it just to see what happens. Histogram, okay, that's like, uh, essentially a histogram is just a sort of way of grouping data. Mm, interesting, not useful here, it's that they so far both seem to be related to numeric data. Box plot, I'm a big fan of box plots. But unfortunately, box plots are not useful in this case. But I will come back to box plots because I think box plots are very important. Um, so those are three of the main ones. There's a couple of other ones down here like uh, bar chart and pie chart. Now they are perfect for categorical data. So scatter plots, histograms, box plots, and all these sort of various subcomponents there useful to know in general but not relevant here what I'm dealing with here is categorical data and once you've done a bit of research in this you might find that uh, bar charts and pie charts are useful for categorical data essentially what we want to do here is actually sort of we only have 15 cases here but you know of animals but it could be 15,000 in another data set uh, so what I want to do here is actually just sort of get a breakdown of what we're dealing with here. Okay, so um, just let's sort of click on this. Now I'm going to go for a very simple bar uh, plot, uh, bar chart first off. I'm going to click OK on that. And let's see, well, we're going to just uh, only select the type variable. That's the only categorical variable in the data set, really. Okay, name is not a categorical variable. Age is a numeric variable, definitely not a categorical variable. Clicked OK there. Now, what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to sort of click on my plot here, and there's a couple of options we might look at. I'll tell you what, we'll just click and see what happens, and then we can come back and try uh, uh, check out some of those uh, extra options there. Just click OK on that. Now, what should happen there? Just, there we go, that's our little um, bar chart. So essentially what it does there, it gives us a frequency of each type of uh, pet in my data. So seemingly I have six cats, five dogs, one hamster, one hen, and two ponies. That's about right, okay? So essentially how do I tell that? It just tells me, I'm just working from the side here, the count, 
So essentially the count of six, this first column sort of goes all the way up to six, so it just tells me there's six cats. Okay, let's check out, oh, uh, click no there. So what I'm gonna do is actually just like go back to this now, go down to bar charts, and let's just click okay in that again. And let's just see what chart options we have. Um, so we can go from increasing Y or decreasing Y. So what I'm gonna do is actually go decreasing Y. And that would rather, the default actually would give me the, the groups in, numer in alphabetical order of name. So cats and dogs came first, mostly because cat or C starts is early in the alphabet, okay? And uh, what we might also do is, so decreasing Y sort of says we start with the biggest group first and then move down and not do it in alphabetical order. So also what we might do here is show Y as a percentage. Let's do that. Uh, okay, I'll just stick with that so far. Scale. Um, it's, I tell you what, that's a bit too complicated for today. So I'm just going to sort of come back to that another time. Labels. Uh, title. So... Uh, types of pets, let's say. You can add in some t subtitles there. Uh, uh, I just You can add in some footnotes there. You can just sort of p play with that yourself anytime you want. And I think that's pretty much everything, really. I, as far as not going to and doing anything too drastic yet, that's as far as we'll go. Click OK on that. Just give it a moment there. Now, we see we have... Um, types of pets, so I got a heading there up at the top. I could have added in more sort of titles and so on. Percentages, now I've changed from count data to percentage data. So rather than six cats, I'm dealing with 40% are cats, 35% are dogs. What's that? I don't know what this is. 13%, oh yeah, if you hover over it, um, you might sort of, uh, the bit of information there comes up. So it's 13.33% are ponies. Let's see, 6.66% uh, are hamsters and so on, hens, okay? Hens and ha hamsters and hens, so is the sort of secondary ordering is still alphabetical order. Okay, that's pretty good.